this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Let's continue past Rubicante into, well, basically the Giants of Babel area. Let's see, one, two, three. You want to take the third path on the left there. All the other paths, well, they don't lead to where I want to go. But here we got a uh, Thunder Dragon. Uh, let's see, let's go with Bio. Okay. Yeah, he's not a, well, whatever he is. He's not a robot. Think. Centelia, strike him very oddly. But anyway, being a dragon monster, the Wyvern Lance is pretty good against the Thunder Dragon there. It's also susceptible to projectile like weapons like boomerang and spears, arrows, things like that. So. Oh man, I can't believe I got that Wyvern Lance. Gotten a lot of rare items in the game. I was thinking about ones that I haven't gotten. Like, ever. I've gotten all the summons. See, I think I want to head west. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to go south first. I know I haven't gotten the crystal ring from the uh, red dragons. So, I haven't gotten that far yet. But anyway, uh, let's see. We got armor constructs. These guys are going to take a little while to kill, but we got stop. So, probably the most cost-efficient way of dealing with them. If you've got Tornado, so much the better. But unfortunately, they don't really have an elemental weakness that I can really take advantage of. I wonder if Bio works on them. Well, we're not going to find out. Oh, well. I'm still going down, right? Okay, yeah. Got a Poison Axe. If you have Sid in your party, I guess that might be good. Might be good for Luca too. I, I don't know. Uh, let's go with Titan. Primeval Titan? No. No, an ordinary Titan. Okay, let's just wait this one out. Maybe go with Prey, if we can get a little bit of healing going for us. Yeah, you can. Finish off whoever's left. Should be that good. I think I need to heal after that one. But yeah, most of these guys, relatively easy. I don't even need Thunderclaws. I don't think there's anything down there. I could have sworn there was a third treasure on this floor. I could be wrong. Oh well. But anyway, nothing in here, I don't think. Oh, they got that super cannon thing. I didn't know it was there. Well, there you go. But anyway, uh oh. We can take these guys out easily enough. Why don't we wait for Rydia to switch rows? SWITCH! Yeah, that, uh, whoa! What happened to your HP there, Porn? How'd you get hit like that? Oh! Uh, just attack. Thank you. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I just looked it up. Uh, yeah, there are only two treasures on that previous floor. At least according to my source. Unless there's a hidden treasure! Well, okay, we got these guys. Uh, let's see. Ready? Uh, damn it. Damn that auto battle. I was going to have Rydia cast Titan, but no! We get to do things the hard way. Oh well. Maybe I can find out if Bio will work on these guys. No, no. Oh well. Uh, pray. Just hope and pray for him. I like her sprite when she's getting ready to pray there. And even when she does, she just gets on her knees. When she's actually praying. I, I'll just stop there. Anyway, we want to go all the way down here. Whoops, missed my turn. Anyway, over here we get the Moon Ring Blade, which we want to give to Edge there, so... Yeah, it's a little better for him. I like keeping him in the back row. It's one reason why I don't like using Ursula. Not that it's a big deal, but she's pretty vulnerable in the front row there. So, because she has to be in the front row, she's Malay. She, she can't hit from range with, with her, uh, with her claws. Hey, Goldis. 
<laughs> I like how he's like afraid of him, like the, his theme is playing or something. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, my dad gave me this name. Unfortunately. Well, you weren't you haven't been around. Oh, well, not anymore. Well, you just went to sleep. But if you want to call that hiding, sure. Well, Fusoya teleported me on onto a whale, and uh, well, what can I do? I mean, I kind of don't want to die while I'm here. At least this way, if the moon does destroy the Earth, we'll survive. Someone's got to carry on the human race. Well, there's a breathable atmosphere, apparently. Yeah, one quarter. Yeah, pretty much. You're not gonna tell us, are you, Goldas? Okay, but yeah, no band or anything like that we get from that, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, anytime they can use this music is a good time. But you know you're getting close to the end. Now, nah, we're. Now, nah, we're over halfway there, but. <laughs> we're working on it, we're getting there, we're getting there. Ah, sweet music to my ears! You were here the last time, weren't you? We can rebuild it. We can... Well, however the quote goes. I don't know. Well, as we all know, Parham, there are always giant robots. Always. For boss time! Gotta take it out again. Uh, pretty much same strategy as the first time we fought it. Uh, we want to take out the defense node there. So let's go... You know what? Let's not use the uh, uh, Mirage type. I was thinking about it, but no. Do we need more? Yes, we need a little more. Let's see. I want you to use the spider ship. That'll get through the uh, Reflect, too. Because it's an item. Anyway, how bad can this possibly be? Yeah, that's not very bad. Okay, the majority of our damage, once again, is going to be coming from Mirage Die. You want to use that against the one in the back row there. Theodore, not going to be too useful in this fight. So we want to get haste going there. Use self for your healing, and we should be in pretty good shape. The other nice thing about self is that it's a single targeting summon that can go through Reflect here. In fact, that's how I first learned how to use Sylph, or, well, just to use it at all, really. So. Unfortunately, in this version of the game, Sylph does actually cost MP. So. Yeah, the attack node, not much you can do to us. Not overly worried about it. I don't even need to throw anything with Edge. Thought about, oh, thought about it, but, uh, nah. Okay, ready up. If I can ever get to your turn, I would like you to heal up. And pretty much just leave Theodore on standby. He's not going to be dealing much damage to the CPU anyway. Yeah, I guess he can attack attack those. Get something going on. Uh, we could use a little extra healing there. Yeah, Sylph is not going to be keeping up with this one. Go. Let's see, one more ought to do. You don't want to kill both of the attack and defense nodes, because if you do it, it's just like before. Uh, that he will kill you. The CPU will, and he'll also revive both the nodes. So that's why you only want to kill one node at a time. There. Alright! Now oh, this thing still seems to be running. 
Oh, I hope they don't bring it back. That, that would be bad. Of course, I suppose they don't need to. They just crash the moon right into the planet. And Zemus should have uh, thought of that. Maybe it's an illusionary plane or something like that. I don't know. But for defeating the part of the Babil, we get the Yoichi bows and arrows that we'll never use. Oh, wow. But I do know something else we'll be using. Idolans, can we rescue more of them? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The Afternoons. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.